Hi, this is Dr. Sylvester. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about taking care of your diabetic feet. Diabetes affects the feet in really two different ways. The first way, and the way that most people associate with diabetes, is circulation. They think, well, if I have diabetes, my circulation is going to get bad, and that's going to cause me to have foot problems. And that's true in some people, but in most people, that's really not the case. The majority of people with diabetes have problems with their feet because of neuropathy, which is numbness or tingling or burning or electrical sensation, but the numbness is the thing that causes difficulties. I remember an experience when I was in LA County Hospital, we had a patient come in who had put his shoes on and he came in for just a regular diabetic foot check and he had a little toy in his shoe. That gentleman was so numb that he could not feel the toy in his shoe and he subsequently lost his leg because of not being able to feel his foot. All that can be avoided using three techniques. The first one is inspection. And what that means is every day if you have diabetes you should take a real close look at your feet. Now if you can't see your feet you probably get some help or you get a mirror to look at your feet and look between your toes, on the outside of your foot, the bottom of your foot, any place that you see a callus or something you should probably start paying attention to that and get some help with that or next time you see your doctor ask him about your feet. Second thing is protection. Protection involves wearing a good shoe, looking at your shoe before you put it on, wear a, a sock that's soft, make sure the shoe fits well, and you cannot depend, you cannot depend on how a shoe feels. You have to measure the shoe, or even better yet, like what we do with a lot of our patients here, is when we give them diabetic shoes, we take an x-ray of their foot when they're wearing their shoe to make sure it fits right, and it's not scrunching their toes together. The third thing to do is intervention. If you see any kind kind of a callus or especially any kind of callus with bleeding in it that's got some discoloration. Get to your doctor as soon as possible and get the pressure off that area. If you need to, you may have to go into a special shoe or a special boot for a while to get that to heal. But if you can prevent a foot wound by doing inspection, protection, and intervention, those three things, you're going to be miles ahead and you won't have a lot of the difficulties with diabetes and your feet. Thanks for listening.